Hello and welcome to my channel, Woman Wonders Tarot. This is a reading for Cancer. Cancerians, this is your About Last Night reading where we take a look at your romantic situation and try to determine what's going on. Today I'm using my Light Seekers and my This Might Hurt Tarot decks. And as you can see, I've already meditated, shuffled and pulled your cards. All of my cards are red in the upright position. So let's get started, Cancer. Okay, Cancerians, today this row represents you and this row represents your person. I'm doing a past, present, and near future reading today. So we're going to take a look at you. In the past, you have the lovers. Okay, what's going on right now in the present is the hermit. And in the near future, you have the eight of swords. All right, let's take a look at your person. In the past, your person is showing up as the queen of swords. Okay, presently, your person has the three of pentacles. And in the near future, your person is showing up with the queen of wands. So what does all of this mean, Cancerians? Okay, so I feel like in the past, for you, I feel like you met someone that you fell in love, okay? You met someone, you fell in love. The lovers is all about feeling like this is your soulmate, okay? This is the person that you're meant to be with forever and ever, okay? So I feel like you met someone, you guys really vibed and clicked, and you thought you were going to be with this person for a while. Take note that these two people are of different races and cultures. It looks, it appears to be that way on this card. So that could be a hint or a clue for you. Okay. So, but right now you have the hermit card. So I feel like you haven't heard from your person or for some reason you're taking a step back from this person. But I'm, when I look at it, I feel like you feel isolated and alone. Okay. So I do feel like maybe you haven't heard from your person or something's going on when it comes to um, communication. In the past, your person has the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is not the best card to have when it comes to romance. This is about, the Queen of Swords is about, you know, she, she, he or she could be um, very picky about who they choose to be with, okay? Or this could mean that this person had to be honest with you. So the Queen of Swords is about honest communication, okay? So maybe this person told you something in the past the Queen of Swords, um, you know, could, again, be picky about who they're with. So I feel like this person kind of told you about a situation, okay? And I feel like that situation is this, the Three of Pentacles. I feel like your person told you or had to tell you that they were in another connection. Okay, this Three of Pentacles is about a third party situation, okay? And it could be uh, something about work, okay? And this could mean that you could have met your person online too, just by the way. But in this spread, I'm getting what they told you was about someone else, that they were in another connection, okay? Um, in the near future, you have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like you're not gonna be willing to let this go. And, you know, I see why, because this person... In the past, you know, you felt like you love this person. You felt like this was the person that you were going to be with. So I feel like in the near future, you know, it's going to be hard for you to let go of the thought of this person, you know, because you thought that this person was the one that you were supposed to be with. The bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. So I feel like, remember I pointed out that, you know, take note of the different cultures and races. This could have something to do with it too. Maybe, um, this person is from a different background or there's something different about you and um, and it would be, you know, something that maybe their culture or their family or, or something like that wouldn't accept you. So maybe that's what it is, but, or the Hierophant could mean that your person is married, okay? So you might know because it's at the bottom of the deck for you. So you may have found that out, but it's still hard for you cancer to let it go all right um your person has in the near future the queen of wands so i feel like this person is going to continue to go back and forth between this three of pentacles situation with you okay the queen of wands is just like the, the king of wands these are fun people they like to have a good time but you know they don't stay they don't stick it's hard to get to nail them down and have them commit to a relationship so i feel like this person even though um, he or she is in a third party situation. Um, I feel like they're going to continue to go back and forth. The bottom of the deck for your person is the Empress. So I feel like if you are female here, you know, asking about this male, 
I feel like the person has a secret and the person might have gotten someone else pregnant or maybe they're expecting a child or something like that. Um, that's what this could mean. Or this could just simply mean that your person is going to make the decision to stay where they are, you know, because that's this is a card of new beginnings and a family card, okay? So your person might decide to just go ahead and settle down with this Three of Pentacles situation, okay? Um, that's at the bottom of the deck. But I'm really getting if you're female asking about a male, it might be a pregnancy situation, okay? If you're a male asking about a female, um, if this is this person here is female, at the bottom of your person might be expecting a child from someone else. I really feel like there is a child involved, okay? Um, or, you know, another meaning for this could be, mean that someone's mother doesn't, you know, is, is involved in the situation too. So that it could mean that. So I want to give all the interpretations. All right. So that's what I see, Cancer. I see that, you know, you're really in love with someone and, you know, it's not working out right now, but you feel like you cannot let this person go. This person is a bit of a player. I feel like this person was honest with you though and told you something. So I think that you know what's going on with your person. I think they were eventually honest and upfront with you. And this person is still willing to, you know, have fun and see you. But, you know, that's just, that's, that's up to you. I don't judge on my channel. So that's what I'm seeing. So thanks for stopping by and watching my video, Cancer. And have a wonderful day.